to unpack this, I'm joined live on the news by the National President, NASU, Dr. Makolo Hassan. Good evening. Glad to have you join me. Good evening. Thank you so much. Okay. It's day two of the strike action. Have you so far received any communication from the government? Uh, yes, uh, by yesterday, we had invitation to meet with the Honorable uh, Minister of Labor. And uh, today, we equally received invitation to meet with the Honorable Minister of Education slated for tomorrow. Okay, so the meeting with the Minister of Labor is to be held when? The two will be held tomorrow. Uh, we'll first of all meet with the Minister of uh, Education, and from there we'll proceed to meet with the Minister of Labor, same tomorrow. All right. Do you think there are any underlying reasons why the government hasn't paid the salaries for Nassau? Uh, to us, we cannot uh, envisage any reason because uh, it is a pronouncement of uh, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, we know that the salary we are talking of here is just a stipend. So I cannot uh, fathom any reason why this money was not paid to our members. Mm. Well, you, you mentioned the meeting to be held with the Ministry of Labor and also the Ministry of Education tomorrow. Just to find out from you, what would be your talking point for that meeting, you know, while it's being yeah. held? Yes, it is important, and I'm happy for this interview, uh, because there are underlying factors. Uh, the issue of the warning strike, if you look at it very well, of course, we are talking about the withheld salaries, but something led to that. You know, we were talking about the renegotiation of the 2009 agreement. We're talking about uh, the earn allowances that uh, the former government, uh, through the Minister of Education, told us that, yes, 50 billion was earmarked to offset that money, and we're told that money was available for the payment. And up to now that we are talking, it has not been paid. The non-teaching staff were equally clamoring for the proper funding of both federal and state universities, and that is still outstanding. As we speak today, some of the state universities hardly received pay, and even some who receive pay, they take amputated salaries. And so we're clamoring for it. That is still uh, uh, outstanding. And we're talking about the IPPIS, which, of course, we know it is in the process of being resolved now. We're talking about the reconstitution of uh, the uh, councils of the federal universities that is still hanging. And so if we are talking about the withheld salaries, we must look at the issues that even led to us going on strike in the first place. So what are the issues? Talk to me about them. Yes, yeah, that is what I'm telling you now that we discussed. And uh, it is interesting that uh, we even signed a memorandum of uh, action with uh, the, uh, the former Honorable Minister Adamo Adamo to the effect that uh, the 50 billion earmark for the payment of earn allowance was ready to be paid before even that uh, administration exited. Then we have uh, in that agreement uh, the proper funding of education. As we speak today, most of our universities, if you talk to the vice chancellor, what they get from government cannot pay a bill on a monthly basis. Mm. Then how do we have uh, a good environment for our students and even the staff at large? Have you, you know, so perhaps, these are the... I hear yes. you, uh, uh, Dr. Makolo Hazan. I'm just wondering if you mm. have in any way reached out to ASU. And there seems to be a dichotomy, correct me if I'm wrong about that, between ASU and NASA when it comes to listening to their agitations as regards payment of salaries. What do you make of that? Well, as far as I know, I would not want to refer to any union here. We have a job of NASA and SANU. Of course, every union, they have their own, uh, they have their own national executive council. They direct the affairs of their union. 
And so if it comes to, if there's a dichotomy, it means there are people in government who want to do divide and rule, and every reasonable union leader will not subscribe to that. All we are asking is that this money be paid our members because we follow all due process to go on strike that was uh, even fault on us by the government in the first place. Yeah, I understand when you say you have an independent body, uh, but when it comes to synergy, mounting pressure on the government, it may just be, you know, perhaps a good idea, you know, to talk to us. I'm just wondering if that has been done in joining or lending, lending a voice to these uh, strike action. Well, we have not come to that stage of uh, ASU and NASU and SANU having a jack meeting. What we have currently, and what I can, I can speak on, is the marriage between NASU and SANU, which is jack of NASU and SANU. Hmm. Well, I don't mean to be a skeptic, but I, I'm just wondering, what if the government refused to comply? What then would be your next line of action? Well, currently we are on warning strike. Uh, from this warning strike, uh, the Jack of Nasu and Sanu will meet after our proposed meeting with the government. We will appraise the situation on ground and now decide the next line of action. Well, thank you so much. We'll keep tabs with you regarding any development on this. Thank you so much, Dr. Makolo Hassan, the national president for Nasu. Thank you once again. Thanks a lot.